left of a family's home after it was caught in a fire late last week. Now the big question is how it happened. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Denise Valdez. That fire started in an abandoned house near Stewart and Eastern, but then it quickly spread to a neighboring home and even burned a third house. Neighbors believe this was far from an accident. 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga is digging deeper for answers. Well, Brian and Denise, their home is a complete loss. And the family who lived here believe squatters are to blame. And they say they called the police about this property right here several times. But this is where they would stay and sleep. But there was a mattress burning on the uh, back wall like uh, about a year ago. Leah Vandenacker reflects on the home she once grew up in, now reduced to scraps and ash. All my memories, my baby pictures, my school yearbooks, my graduation cap and gown, my prom dresses, everything is just gone. This isn't the first time the abandoned house next door has caught fire. Another fire was reported at the same boarded up single story home in January. It's been really difficult because we knew it was coming. The city installed this temporary fence around the property. They were planning on demolishing it. They cooked in there in the winter, like there was a fire in the backyard constantly. But then this happened. They tell me that my house is being, my house is burned down. And I just burst out into tears. The fire spread to two homes. A family cat died. The city typically handles squatter issues, but the Vandeneckers thought it was Metro's job, so a formal complaint was never filed. I just wish we could have done something about it sooner instead of, you know, just waiting until the day finally came. It's a lot to lose. The cause of the fire is still unknown. The Vandenackers say now they're working to rebuild their life. Reporting live, Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now.